Hey you guys, so right now I'm just showing you what items I used. I used a Ziploc bag, a hammer, and I used some vitamin C tablets. Um, that's just what I found at CVS. Um, and next to get started, I'm going to take my vitamin C pills and I'm going to pour them in my Ziploc. I'm not really measuring a certain number, I'm just pouring I mean, in there because you know, in natural hair, you have a lot of surface area to cover. So I'm just pouring a number in that I think would, you know, be sufficient enough to get the job done. And when I put these pills, if I can get this bag open, whenever I do, after I put the pills in here, I'm going to use my hammer to basically pound these pills and turn them into dust so I can mix them in with my head and shoulders, well off brand head and shoulder shampoo. So after you're done beating your pills with the hammer, you should have a nice fine powder out of your vitamin C pills. And sometimes you do have to go over it with the hammer just to make sure. And here I'm just taking an empty container because I couldn't find anything else to put it in. And I'm just pouring my powder in this container. And this will be where I will mix my vitamin C powder with my off-brand head and shoulders dandruff shampoo. And as you see, the brand of dandruff shampoo I'm using is CVS. And I believe it is extra strength. I'm not sure if this happened to anyone else or if this is normal or not, but while I was mixing the mixture together, it started to get very frothy. So I don't know if that just means the, you know, the vitamin C is kicked in or what, or if it just does that, or if it was not supposed to do it, but I'm just letting you know that's what my... So now after mixing my, get my mixture mixed together, um... I'm headed to the bathroom and I'm going to put this mixture on my hair and kind of suts it up a little bit while I do that. And to start, I'm going to kind of part my hair down the middle and start on one side at a time. So after having both of my sides completely saturated in this mixture, I'm now going to grab a clamp. Well, I guess not. And that was like the second time I, second or third time I dropped that clamp. Yeah. Again. So after doing this, I'm just going to, you know, put a shower cap on my head and let it sit for probably about as long as I want to. Probably at least 45 minutes or longer. And I'll tell you guys how this goes in my next video.